come cook breakfast with me on my family's resort in remote Alaska. It's pitch black outside and the bear's still out so it made it a little bit terrifying to walk to work this morning. But we made it and we're okay. So let's see what we need to make this morning. First we gotta start the coffee. We only have three tables this morning and two of them are crew. And this is what we have scheduled for this morning. This is what I need to make. I picked this low-key breakfast because this is my first breakfast doing it solo because our breakfast chef's last day was yesterday. So I wanted to be low-key and I knew I had to make stuff for the cash because we only have one muffin and four or five scones. This is the last week of the cash and I need to make sure that there's something in there. Since I don't have a whole lot of time and there's already scones down there, I'm going to make some blueberry muffins just with the mix and then I'm going to make these cookies because I made them last week and they were a huge hit. Let's make breakfast and stuff for the cash. Actually, now that I push the button, I don't remember which one is which. I think red means start. I'm gonna do this one for bacon. I'll do this one for the muffins. Oh, there we go. What I've learned working with these ovens for the past 10 years is that you have to, whoa, that's loud. You have to kind of open the doors to help them light. Here go the muffins. And the cookies. I just realized that my music was playing <laughs> earlier, sorry. I'm good at turning it off when I, need to, when I need to talk. Can't forget to turn on the sanitizer. It's always loud. We can start on breakfast. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry about that. Now to add the water. Now it's time to do the bacon. It's gonna be fun. That's too short. Why do I do this to myself? Try this again. Not pretty, but it works. This is my least favorite part, like cutting the bacon apart. The thickness of this bacon we've been getting from Costco has been super inconsistent. Like some of them are super thick, some are super thin, some are shaped really weird. Anyways, I don't know where I cut myself off there. But look at this bacon compared to this bacon, like on complete opposite sides. Which it's fine, it just cooks a little bit uneven in the oven. So we rotate the rafts or the pan. All right, what next? Alrighty, we got everything lined out. So we have pantries like up here in the kitchen. We have a pantry downstairs with more like fridge and freezer space, um, an actual pantry space. And that's where like my fruit is for breakfast, my baked oatmeal that was prepped yesterday, all the things like that, more eggs that I need, but Here's my, here's my problem right now. There's literally like 27 seconds on my timer. I don't wanna just leave and I don't wanna wait. So I'm just gonna drink my coffee. We're ahead of schedule, so it's okay. Let's go downstairs. I made it down here. I used to be scared of cats swooping at me and now it's, now it's uh, embarrassing. So let's grab everything, take it upstairs. Got the baked oatmeal, stuff for fruit cups. I don't know who opens a carton of eggs and puts it downstairs. That's just ridiculous. Now I'm gonna carry this upstairs and we'll be right back. It's time to flip the bacon. Everyone is asking about our baked oatmeal recipe and honestly all of them except this pumpkin one come with a base that I made up myself which I had a different recipes I guess I got inspiration from anyways they're all gluten free all dairy free we make them like that from the get-go just to accommodate everybody's needs and then it's a really easy one for anyone who has dietary restrictions to have I filmed a recipe video and I will be posting that sometime soon I promise it's filmed it's edited it's here on the app I just have other things I need to post first before we post that Thank mm -hmm. you. 
This is it. Let's cook breakfast for the very last time on my family's resort in remote Alaska for the 2023 season. I started out the season making Dutch babies, so it seemed only fitting to end the season making Dutch babies and sharing the recipe because that's what people have been asking for. But you know what has to come first? Coffee. Two tables and one of them is crew. Let's see what we have to do today. So we have nine Dutch babies, five servings of bacon, and we need to make baked oatmeal. This is just sitting here in the pantry. Hello. It's massive. I'll make a whole video. Well, I have a whole video about this recipe, but it's super easy and we make it gluten-free, dairy-free, just like off the bat. Um, I have the base mixed right here and I'm just gonna add the blueberries next. Put them in the oven closer to time, but they're ready. Now for the bacon. They're lit. We only have five servings of bacon, but I'm just gonna do this whole pack. Our staff eats a lot of bacon. I'm a little bit shocked because in that whole pack, it was like 10 servings. I feel like there's usually a lot more servings than that in a pack. How does this happen? I feel like I can actually be productive now that I have coffee. We are going to venture downstairs to go grab stuff from the pantry. A bat did soup at me this morning, so good luck to us. We made it. Now we're gonna grab everything that we need from downstairs. All right, I have everything. It's just time to go carry it upstairs. Let's go back. Check out this spider carrot that's just been hanging in our kitchen. It used to be hanging here, like by its own string, but it broke, so we had to clip it. There we go. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's make Dutch babies. You're gonna start off by putting six eggs into your blender. You add one cup of flour, about a teaspoon of vanilla, but I always like adding extra. And about another teaspoon or like a little dash of salt. We'll do a cup of milk. We have powdered milk that we use. And honestly, like I can't tell the difference when like in the baked good. So this is what I use and it's all measured like on here. So I'm just making sure I have a cup. We blend it. Next step for me is to put it into a bowl because I have to make a double batch after this one to make enough. But you can just keep it in here until you're ready to bake it and I'll show you that too. This is a double batch. It looks so much better in the blender. This is what I usually make instead of single batches anymore likes to spit up at me, huh? So here we cook them in these little ramekins um, for like a single serve at home. Like growing up, we would cook them in a pie dish, nine by 13, just based on how big of a thing you want. But these are perfect for us here at the resort. And now I'm gonna add a chunk of butter to each one, about a tablespoon, but it doesn't have to be exact. And when it's time, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 425 and I'll stick these in the oven first so the butter melts and then I'll add the batter to it and then it cooks in in the butter. That's a good sound. I'm gonna put it there in the oven. Just doing one scoop. Back in the oven they go. We'll give them about 15 minutes and they'll be done. Nothing here. All the side dishes. Beautiful. 
That's it. That's it. That's crazy.